One of the most practical applications of Text Expander I can think of is using it for date and timestamps. Everybody does this a little bit different, and Text Expander supports a lot of different macros for formatting options. Here's a list of the available macros. This list is also available in the accompanying post over on the Asian Efficiency blog. You don't need to memorize these macros, however. You can actually select these from inside the Insert menu. Let me show you how this works. First, you need a blank snippet, like you see here. Then, go down to the Insert menu, select Date or Time, and select the unit you want to insert into your snippet. For example, you might want to create a date timestamp that looks something like this. To create this particular snippet, select Date, Day, Monday, comma, Date, Month, January, Date, Day, Number, Date, Year, 2001, which means that the year will show up as a four-digit year number, Dash, Time, Hour, 1 through 12, which means that it will show up as a 12-hour clock, Colon, Time, Minute, 01, which means that the minutes will be displayed as a two-digit number, and then Time, AM, PM which will insert AM or PM appropriately at the end of the snippet. Now we're going to label our snippet. I'll label it date and time and give the snippet an abbreviation, XDT. So here's what it looks like when we type that abbreviation. Here at Asian Efficiency, we recommend that you date everything from journal entries to meeting notes to file names. You can also do date and time math within Text Expander. For example, if you want to send out a reminder email the day before your appointments, you can put the cursor at the beginning of your date time macro and select date time math add day from the insert menu. Now watch what happens when we type our abbreviation. It adds one day to the current date and time. 